So, I was watching the Ben Shapiro show. I hope he said his right name, Shapiro. I think I said it right. I love this guy. I love it. I love how smart he is. I love, I, just, I love the guy. If you don't like him, then... Or if you don't even know him, check him out, dude. He's just... The man makes common sense sound like fucking... Sounds like fucking the language of the gods. So, I scrambled upon his video. Every once in a while I watch him, right? And the video is titled, Transgender Parents Tries to Breastfeed Child. In bizarre viral video. Uh, and I just ate some chili cheese fries. No, shit, don't, stuff doesn't really make me vomit when I watch disgusting things. But let's see. What does he got to say? Champion. These are civil rights heroes. There's a man who's sticking his nipple in the mouth of a child, in the mouth of a small baby, in a bizarre attempt to nourish the baby with literally nothing. And you're a bigot if you disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I just and you're a bigot if you don't disagree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh it, uh, and why did they censor his nipple? Oh my god. Do we really live in this society where pretend is literally pre oh Look, I like playing pretend. Even though I'm fucking like 50,000 years old. I love playing pretend. <laughs> but I do it in the privacy of my own bathroom. <laughs> in my bathroom, sometimes I can get in front of the mirror and pretend I'm Jack Sparrow or some shit. <laughs> or a fucking paladin or dragon guardian. I'm not joking. I play around like that sometimes. But it's because I get so bored with myself. I have ADHD. I'm fucking... I, and even in school... One minute I'm a fucking dinosaur attacking the girls, and the next minute I'm Daffy Duck. Combined with Bugs Buddy trying to kiss him. Oh my gosh, dude. This is... Ugh. I... I'm not trying to be mean. It's just... Ugh. Let's continue. You're the authoritarian for suggesting there is a problem here. There is apparently a series that uh, is, is called Nine Months with Courtney Cox. It's a docu-series about various couples having children. And this went viral yesterday. It is a video from apparently se season three, episode eight of Nine Months with Courtney Cox. And it features a transgender man, meaning a biological woman, who pushed, is a biological woman, who had a baby. There's not a man who had a baby because that's not possible. It's a biological woman. Well, actually, I don't think that's necessarily true because there have been instances where like, okay, there was a story. I'm not exactly 100% sure how true it is and if I have time or if I remember, I'll post it on this video. So if you're just listening while you're watching, maybe keep an eye out on the screen. From what I recall, there were instances where somebody was pregnant with their twin brother and they were a boy. So, I mean, I'm not trying to defend the fact that men could get pregnant. I'm just simply stating that it can be possible, but it's, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack that's the size of a football field, you know, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to point out some nice facts here, but, but he's got a point. Who used her uterus to create a baby and then pushed the baby out through her vagina because she's a biological woman once more. And no amount of testosterone that produces facial hair or growing the hair out or mastectomies changes the fact that this is a biological woman as evidenced by the fact that biological men cannot give birth. Biologi I promise you, babies can't fit through the urethra. Ugh. And kidney stone is bad. Try fitting a watermelon through there. In any case. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't. I had a nightmare where. <laughs> I was had a nightmare that I pushed a baby on my. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. You know what? I, it looked. Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, man. It, it looked like. Have you guys seen Jack? Of course, somebody's seen Jackass, but have you seen. Have you seen when they're feeding. The great white sharks. Or not the great white sharks. The whale sharks. Steve-O and Chris Pontius. They're feeding those sharks. They're feeding the white uh, the whale sharks. And they got krill in their little pants. They're see-through. And 
it's so full that Chris Pontius is juggling it up and down. And I'm all, and when I had this nightmare giving birth, that's what it looked like. But the baby looked, uh, it was all red. It looked like the fucking Resident Evil 8 baby. Oh, that thing was annoying. This particular episode of this bizarre show features a transgender man, meaning a biological woman, who is married to a transgender woman, meaning a biological man. What? Wait, 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 wait. So the dude... What? So the one with the censored nipple, that was a woman? Why would you censor it, though? Technically, the nipples of men were once breasts, because weirdly enough, when a baby is being developed in the womb, it starts out with the female stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the the XY chromosome shit. I mean, don't take don't take my word for it. If you got a biological test tomorrow, biology test tomorrow, don't go with what I'm saying. Like actually do some research. But this is just what I remember from the top of my head. That the XY chromosomes, X is boy, Y is girl, I think. And I think you start off with with you start off with some of the Y and then you gain some of the X from your dad. You know, those chromosomes get in there. But you, when you develop, you do start off as a girl. That's why you have nipples. That's why men don't need them. <laughs> what do you think in animes, there's no nipples on them? <laughs> well, that's not true. Some of them do. So technically, we were all once girls. I'm transgender. I can say that. <laughs> I'm a big... So this means a man who is married to a woman, but they believe they are members of the opposite gender. So, so in this particular weird. scenario, the quote-unquote husband, the faux husband, meaning a biological woman... This is so confused, look at him. ...gave birth. And the faux woman, meaning a biological man, is the quote-unquote mother in this scenario. And this leads to the bizarre situation that apparently the parents have now refused to accept ID for their newborn baby because that would require the birth mother, you know, like the actual woman, to identify as a mother and not the male. Oh, God. Look at his face. He's like, I know, right? This is stupid as all. I'm already confused. I'm already confused. Why does this have to exist? I remember it was... I remember when it was just fine to say that, yes, this is my life. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Don't rub it in our faces. Don't... This is... That poor child, man. This is why CPS needs to get involved. Instead, instead, CPS gets involved with the wrong people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, smash that like button. There are, there are worse people out here. And these are... I'm not saying they're bad people. It's just you're you're making life difficult for that baby. You know, it's gonna... Oh my gosh. I'm not saying people of these types of genders or these types of thoughts can't raise kids. But at some part along the line, shouldn't this be borderline mentally unstable? You know? Like, hey, by the way, you're a bigot if you disagree. <laughs> Not only are you a bigot, if you bring up your children to disagree, the left will, will sick the authoritarian regime on you. I mean, the, the, this is the way this is going to go over the next few years. You watch. <laughs> and here is uh, the, the bizarre new world we have created for ourselves, the counter-reality new world we have created for ourselves. Not only are we not assigning a sex to the baby, DC is forcing me to label myself as the mother, and that's not the case, but Dorna is the mother. But, okay, so that was a dude. Rewind that real quick. This, 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 this dude is a chick. This chick is a dude. Okay, you can't just, oh my gosh, like, dude, you, you don't have to. Why do you have to make this so hard? Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. He, he, she, that's the mom, that's the dad, and the other one is the mom. Okay, I can get behind that, but you don't need to, you don't need to go to the point, go to a point where, uh, you don't need to go to a point where, like, you gotta make the government just be like, really, dude? You're a grown ass adult. Why do I do this shit? Like, I'm a grown-ass adult, and I like to pretend, too, but 
I'm not out there in the street saying, hey, I'm a fucking dragon. Give me my, give me your fucking dog before I eat you and burn you alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, like, I mean, I love playing pretend too. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just, it's just so frustrating because I deal with these people all the time. When you work customer service, you deal with people like this. Good God. Myself as the mother and that's not the case, but Dorna is the mother. I should take testosterone and take whole care of my back, This thing is, is really, a, it's really causing me a lot of hurt. Oh my god. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Stop! So because the government won't make you the biological mother because you don't have the uterus, you're gonna cry about it. Oh my god. I used to act like a dog. <laughs> I used to act like a dog, and my uncle once told me, You're not a fucking dog, Marco. Stop that. Uh, no, never. Maybe I did once because he probably hit me. <laughs> That's the thing. These people didn't grow up being hit. It... Oh, God. Trans women can be mothers. Oh, I just put it up here. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> what the fuck did Jim Shapiro say? Pause it for a second to understand what just happened. Okay, if you're not watching this, the video then cuts to <laughs> the the quote unquote mother, a biological male, <laughs> attempting to feed a human child with his chest. Look at <laughs> that is so. Look at honestly, I wanted to say that if that dude. If that dude who thinks he's the... No, no, no. If that chick who thinks she's a dude cut off her tits and, and became a man, why are we censoring it? I mean, Kent, it might look disgusting because I've seen... If you've been on 4chan, you've seen some motherfuckers <laughs> post some disgusting shit, but why is it censored? I mean, if you're a man, why are you censoring that? Censoring it out, right? If I were that woman or man, I'd fight <laughs> I'd fucking contact the CBS or BBC or whatever fuck made this documentary and say, Hey, I'm blur my chest. I don't have tits. <laughs> That's racial profile, you bigot. <laughs> racial profile. <laughs> gender profiling, you bigot. <laughs> oh, man, this is fun. Now, <laughs> this is not going to work. Because it turns out the biological males do not have milk ducts. So it's going to be rather difficult for the baby to get any sort of nutrition from all of this, of course. This is so weird. But it doesn't matter. So long as these people feel better about themselves. Sure, the baby's going to starve to death. But at <laughs> least the... <laughs> it's so mean of me to laugh. But hey, Shapiro, you're a bigot. I hate you. I think I speak for everyone when you're a bigot and a mean man. Shave those eyebrows, you bigot. <laughs> I'm going to say his eyebrows are great. Eat. Delusional parents feel better about themselves, and this is being championed. These are civil rights heroes. Civil rights heroes is a man who is sticking his nipple in the mouth of a child, in the mouth of a small baby. Oh, in God, the way he said that made it sound so bad. I didn't even think about that. Ugh. <sighs> you know, not too long ago in the news, or actually, no, if you guys watch Jay Williams' Let's Live Life, he, uh, he's a they call him prison youtubers because he talks about prison and he talked about something pretty gross pretty fucked up just real quick he talked about an inmate that I think he knew he didn't he was his friend for a while but he didn't know that he killed his two-year-old baby or not even two year old I think a three six month old baby that inmate that he knew killed that baby. You want to know how he killed her? He, um... Made the baby give him a... a, a you know... Unzip. And she, the, the baby choked to death. And they found... Yeah. It was fucked up. Because Shapiro brought that up, said that... It already sounds bad. I'm actually kind of uncomfortable because that's fucked up. I don't like kids, but that's horrible. 
That's ugh. In a bizarre attempt to nourish the baby with literally nothing. <laughs> and you're a bigot if you disagree. <laughs> Don't worry. Is it? You're the authoritarian for I, suggesting there is a problem here. I'm, or that perhaps no problem, it sir. is not in the best interest of a child to grow up under these circumstances. Absolutely. That's author- In fact, if you suggest that, maybe the CPS should come for your kids if you suggest that sort of thing. Yes. I want Ben Shapiro to feed my baby with his nipple. <laughs> Breastfeed him with your A cups. Oh, God. I, I think I'm going to stop right here. I mean, I don't want to. I kind of want to watch the whole video. Be- oh, my God. It's funny as fuck. I mean, we can continue with this. I mean, uh, does anyone give a damn about the kid? Apparently not. It's a, kids are just a, a purse. They're just a tool for people to use for their own personal enjoyment, apparently. And you know what? I have to agree with them right there. Sometimes I've noticed people do that shit. I'm not trying to point fingers, but you know who these people are. You see them at grocery stores. They give no two fucks about their kid. How do I know? They just let them roam around and they're on their phone. Liking pictures of other people's kids who look better than theirs. Like, I've seen mothers that just neglect their kids and they run around the store. I've seen a kid run into a parking lot. And I've stopped that kid from running. And that par- that, and that mom looked at me like, what are you doing to my kid? I was like, I wanted to say so badly. Like, are you fucking blind, you dumb bitch? Your kid is running in the middle of the street. Why do you have this child? I know why you have the child, because you want the fucking benefits that come with children. <sighs> I'm the bad guy, right? I'm the bad guy for trying to keep that baby from getting squashed by a car. Maybe I should have just let it happen so that lady can learn a lesson, but nope. <sighs> it's almost like my... It's almost like my, uh... Nah, I can't talk about that. I don't want to put her on blast. The baby has been able to latch, but... I have not been able to produce any milk. Because you're okay. a dude. Because. Because <laughs> you're a dude. Benjamin, you bigot. You shouldn't be saying that. They have feelings. What if they say you're Christian? Because he's not. He's Jewish. We're going to supplement the feeding with formula. Uncensor that nipple if you're a man. So that my baby's still getting the, the nutrients that they need. But I'm still feeling hopeful. You're not supplementing. That's not supplementing. Supplementing assumes that there is a baseline of nutrition that is being provided. You bigot. <laughs> my wife nursed all of our children. And then at a certain point, because she was working and she didn't have time to pump, we had to supplement with formula. Supplementation means not the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. What kind of perverse damage are you doing to a baby? You're having the baby latch to a male nipple, and then you're like, oh, yeah, and I'm supplementing with formula. That baby's going to choke on a fucking nipple Yeah, well, we, we've created a hell of a society for ourselves, haven't we? Right. We're a society of science, by the way. Well done, everybody. And if you disagree, if you disagree, you should be shut down. If you disagree, then you should be banned from social media. If you disagree, the weapons of government should be used against you. Oh, God. If you disagree, and if you elect people who disagree, then the minority party should abscond and deny them a quorum. <laughs> okay, so what are what are my thoughts about this? This is look, I'm all about people being happy. And in some weird way, I don't see a problem with that couple. Because let's be real, they're both <laughs> Yeah, I mean God said a man laying with another man is fucking <laughs> is abomination. Technically, they're not because one of them was once a boy and one of them was once a girl. Reminds me of the story. I used to play house when I was a kid and I loved playing house as a kid because I got to be some a husband to one of the girls, but I accidentally became a wife to a girl. <laughs> and a fat one too, so she was more manly than me. I was 10. She was 12. Oh, I hope I was free. Oh, I can't say that either. Um, <clears throat> personally, I don't give a shit. I don't mind. Transgender this, super transgender, I don't care. As long as you're not hurting anybody, but that baby... I hope they're not... I, this is what's concerning. I hope they're not forcing that, you know? You know, like... Why isn't the baby hasn't eaten in three days? Like, I hope that doesn't come 
to that conclusion where... Because, come on, how, how long can you keep up that charade or charade, whatever you want to call it? How long can you keep that up? I mean, somebody's got to sit there and say, look, the cameras are gone. You're not going to produce this, you know? Like, let's just get some formula, get some fucking, some baby food in his feet. You know, you can put it on your nipple and he can lick it off. I, don't, ugh, I can't believe I said that. It, ugh. I'm not saying these types of people should not have kids. It's just, understand when there's a child involved, it's time to grow up. You know, like, I've always been taught that, that, you, you know, when you have kids, it's time to grow up. You know, it's, uh, those kids, they need you more than anybody. You know, sell your stuff if you have to and, and, and work double shifts and shit, you know. Work together with, with the wolf and with the woman and and fix things, you know, make make that life for the kid safe and, and, and responsible, you know what I'm saying? Like... These people, I'm not saying they're bad people, it's just... Come on, man. This baby needs to survive. It's not going to survive off your imagination, you know? Uh, I mean, I wish those people the best and the safety of that baby, but dude... Just stop playing pretend and just be a parent. I'm not going to like this video because he's... Ben Shapiro's a bigot. I don't support you. Oops, wrong button.